Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're looking at the Awakened version of Lucius. That is right, the skills and abilities actually popped up on Discord. Now it also says the display of the game is still in development. Please refer to the final version. So we don't know if this is exactly gonna be the final version that we have in here, but I wanna run through these skills and abilities. I'm gonna read them because I know they're a little bit hard to, hard to see in here. But the first one is Divine Radiance, which, which is his ultimate ability. So he holds his weapon aloft and enters the Abundance Radiance state for eight seconds, during which the light deals damage equal to 200% of the attack rating to nearby enemies every second. So it's gonna be nearby enemies, so it's gonna be enemies that are around him, which is a very cool ability. Um, to nearby allies every second. In addition, nearby ally units gain a Blessed Shield of 500% of Lucius' defense rating for eight seconds, Lucius immune to all control effects using this skill. So overall, that is going to be not only a damage production, but a 500% defensive skill, which is kind of crazy. Again, we're going to have to see exactly what nearby units and nearby enemies look like just based on the range that he has. Then, of course, the shield value is increased by 10% at, um, of the target's last lost health, but cannot exceed 300% of the defense rating. Damage is increased by 10% of the target's current health, but cannot exceed 300% of attack rating. So not only is it going to provide that boost out of there, um, but damage is increased by 10%. And then before using Divine Radiance for the first time, Lucius' energy recovery rating is increased by 40 points, Then and he is immune to effects that reduce energy or prevent energy recovery. So he's going to have a buffer that means he doesn't lose... Um, he doesn't lose energy, so he's going to be immune to both the energy reduction and the energy recovery. Both of those are going to be immune. He's going to do damage, and he's going to have defensive, and he's going to buff up, which is kind of crazy. Damage is buffed up, um, is increased by 10%. So that is very interesting to see, and we're going to have to see exactly what that looks like with the buffs that we have in there. The second ability, which is over here on the right side, Unwavering Devotion. And again, just going to try to go, go through this. Um, when using the skill, if the ally with the lowest health percentage has less than 50% health remaining, then Bodyguard is used. Otherwise, Assault is used. So this could be the difference between damage and not. So Bodyguard Lucius taunts surrounding enemies in a large area for six seconds, while granting a Blessing Shield equal to 650% of the defense rating to himself and the ally with the lowest health percentage, and then Assault slashes several times at enemies in front, dealing three strikes of damage equal to 200% of the attack rating per strike, plus one strike of damage equal to 300% of the attack rating, which knocks back enemies. So not only is he gonna have a crowd control aspect with the knockback, that's gonna be pretty cool to see, especially because he can buff himself with a massive shield and taunt everyone around to take all of the damage. The strike that breaks the Blessing Shield will deal no damage. So if the Blessed Shield is broken, he is going to be immune to that first strike or that heavy damage strike. When an ally that has a Blessing Shield gains another Blessing Shield, 80% of the shield value will be converted into a heal. And when an ally that has a Blessed Shield suffers on suffers an energy reduction effect, 80% of the energy reduction will be recovered after two seconds. So not only does he have the shielding aspect, but he is going to prevent the energy kind of stolen. He's gonna give the energy back to the heroes right there. Now looking at the Scorching Elements, or no, this is Sheltered Shield. I think this one, yeah, Scorching Judgment. Here it is. So Lucia's weapon is empowered by Divine Light. After every two normal attacks, next normal attack will be Enchanted. Enchanted normal attacks deal damage equal to 320% of the attack rating, knocks down enemies, and applies the Divine Judgment effect reducing the target's attack rating by 40% and their crit rating by 40 for five seconds. Lucius deals 20% more damage to enemies affected by Divine Judgment. So that is a massive reduction. So right there, guys, it screams PvP, especially with the energy recovery and the energy um, essentially prevention. And then, of course, the, damage, the attack rating reduction and the crit rating reduction. When an enemy suffers the effects of Divine Judgment, um, they suffer health loss equal to 250% of the attack rating. When Lucius is affected by Abundance re Radiance, the damage boost is increased to 80% and the damage from Divine Radiance and Unwavering Devotion applies the Divine Judgment effect on enemies. 
And then of course, this is going to do more damage, which it's normal attacks, pretty interesting to see because we can kind of super cycle normal attacks with the twins and a couple other heroes that do affect the normal attacks that they do have. And then of course, we have the Shattered or Sheltered Shield. Lucia's Shield is blessed by Divine Light. The damage of each incoming strike is reduced by 300% of the defense rating. So if you're boosting up his defense, this is gonna be massive, guys. First time Lucia's health percentage drop below 50, he gains a Blessing Shield of 800% of his defense rating. This is triggered again once the health percentage drops to 25%. So when Lucius is deployed in the front line, he protects the nearest two allies behind him. When they have a lower health percentage than Lucius, he will take 50% of the direct damage to them. Each strike of the damage thus taken cannot exceed 500% of the attack rating. When Lucius is affected by Abundance Radiance, the damage reduction of each strike is increased to 500% of the de defense rating. And allied heroes protected by Lucius also gain a damage reduction aspect. That is crazy, crazy good as a tank. And even here, it shows he is a tank, guys. A lot of players were saying that he was going to go into the warrior aspect. That does not seem to be the case overall. And then it looks like the very bottom has a glorious assault. Now, I looked over on Discord. I looked on a couple different places. I could not find. There's actually only these four screenshots that we're seeing over on Discord. Um, there, there's a couple other ones that just look awesome, that look absolutely crazy. When it comes to looking at Lucius, even dragging some of these over, he looks awesome. That is just absolutely crazy um, how he looks. I love the sword, the shield. Overall, defensive tank is going to be massive for this hero. And again, it, it just fits him perfect. That's the reason why when a lot of players said that it was Lucius and we knew that it was Lucius, we seen the stained glass window. Um, overall, it looks awesome. He he, The build in this, the definition, even looking at the picture, if the actual in-game character looks like this, it is going to be awesome. And it goes, again, kind of hand in hand with the tanking abilities that he does possess. I'm just kind of curious what exactly his ultimate ability is going to be and what it is going to look like. And I can actually just drop this out and show you it in its entirety. And like I was saying, this just looks absolutely awesome for him. It looks very true, the very heavy, thick armor, and it does truly look like an Awakened version. Some of the Awakened versions look similar, have a lot of kind of some differences, but he just looks like he is going to be a monster a holy knight, which again is really, really cool to see. But again, we also do have a pet that is coming up and then the Valentine's Day event as well. So get ready. We have a pet. We have Lucius that is coming up. Going to be awesome to see these heroes built in their entirety. So right, guys, got kind of a sneak peek through the skills and abilities today. But again, a very defensive heavy tank. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.